Hey guys, welcome to the next video on Qt tutorial for beginners. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use combo box in Qt. So let's get started. I have created a blank project and I'm going to go to my main window.ui file. And in here, I will search for combo box. So just write co and you will be able to find combo box here. So drag and drop into your main window. This is a combo box, right? Now how we can add items to the combo box. So we are going to go to our main window.cpp file and in the constructor here what we can do is we can just write UI and call combo box from here and we have a function called add item which takes a few items. So you can give for example you can see here there is a little hint right. It takes first argument as uh, icon and second ar argument as the string, right? And then you can uh, just press the down button and we have the second overload for the function, which is uh, a string. So we are going to use this uh, function, which takes the string, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add an item. For example, I'm going to just add a name here, right? And save my program and run it and let's see what happens so most probably it will add this item to the combo box which is mark which is one uh, name right in the same way you can add uh, multiple items here for example you can just copy and paste several times and then just uh, change the names here right some names something like this and run it once again and uh, you will be able to see all these uh, items added to your combo box right fairly easy right now the second option uh, i wanted to show you is it takes the icon so it has two overloads one for the icon and string and second was for only the string so how we can add icons to our uh, combo box items so for that we need some resources some uh, icon uh, files so i'm what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to my project and i'm going to go to add new and i'm going to add a resource so in the qt we have resource file choose name the resource location resource itself and next and then click finish so it will add uh, this resource uh, to your uh, project right now we can add a prefix first of all for example prefix will be rec for resources and then we can add some files so i already have some files in the project so i will just uh, add the files and i will choose this folder in which i have the files which is inside my project by the way and i will choose these icons and click open which will add these resources I hope you uh, know how to do it uh, because I have shown you several number of times how you can use resources, right? Now what I need to do is I need to go to my main uh, window.cpv file and here I can add these icons, right? So uh, the first argument I can add an icon. So how can I add an icon? I can uh, use a Q icon class, so just use Q icon. And in the constructor, we can give the location of the icon, something like this. So the icon we have here is these icons. So I'm going to just uh, pick one of the images or icons here and right click on it. And I will copy the path of it, which is uh, uh, like this, right? So just click this option, which will copy the path and I will paste it here, right? In the same way, I will add these icons to other uh, other items also these are just uh, uh, icons uh, you can choose your icons right so I'm not uh, you know worried about what are the icons here so I will just copy this and just paste it here third icon I will just copy this and paste it here right and then I will run the app and let's see if the icons are added or not so you can see the icons are added this is for first name second name and third name right so in this way you can add uh, icons to your uh, combo box items
now if you want to uh, do using a for loop you can also do this so for example for and then int i is equal to 0 and then i for example if the i is less than 10 and i plus plus and then we want to add some icons here uh, items here right so i will just write ui combo box and then add item and here i can add some items so how i can do this because uh, this i is a number and this takes a string right add item takes a string and i is a number what i can do here is i can just uh, convert this i into a string using q string so just write q string with a capital s which is this one q string and then it has a member called number so just use this which will convert this i into a number so inside this bracket just pass this i which is this here right and then you can uh, just uh, add a string for example to indicate something so for example name right and for now i'm just uh, commenting these item which i have added uh, using uh, this add item right so now i'm going to run my app let's see what happens and you can see these items are added to my list so from uh, 0 to 9 because the value of i start from 0 and it goes up to 9 but if it's uh, less than uh, 10 then it's okay otherwise uh, you know it will not add it right for loop now if you wanted to add uh, the icons to it i'm just going to just simply take this i uh, icon and paste it here and run it and it will add this icon here so the same icon so you can see the icon is added okay now uh, how this combo box uh, will work for example i want to listen to a button click event so i will just uh, use a push button here so i will just add a push button and I will right click here and then go to slot and I will choose clicked and click OK and in here what I will do is first of all let me include Q message box so include Q message box okay so it will allow me to use Q message box so just use this Q message box and then you can just say information and then first our, uh, argument is this second is the title here and the third is for example we want to show the current item which is chosen uh, using the combo box so what we can do is you can just write UI and then choose combo box and then use current item text or current text which is this one right so this will uh, show the current item text on the message box so let's run it and once we run it and choose any item in the combo box for example i choose the seventh item seven name right and i press the push button it shows seven name right so or otherwise two name and it will show the current text on the item on the combo box right now there are some uh, more uh, function you can use here for example current index or something like this so for example if you want to choose uh, current index which is okay here and let's uh, run it and uh, hopefully it will run it shows the error because this returns an integer and uh, the message box accept a number so we will use the same method q string number and then convert this integer to a number right now it will run okay so let's run it and let's see what happens once again it will show the index index is nothing but the you know uh, the position of the item so the first position of the 
combo box item is zeroth position so it starts from zero one two three four so whatever uh, item you will choose it will show the index of uh, this item right and uh, you can uh, you know play with these functions and uh, see what you can uh, do with it there is one more interesting function uh, in the combo box which is uh, insert uh, item so what I will do here is you see I have added 10 items from 0 to 9 using this for loop now for example for some reason I want to change one of the item text right how I can do this so I can just use a UI and then combo box and for example I want to uh, change the uh, you know text of uh, item uh, 3 for example so what I can do is I can just write insert item instead of add item and it takes uh, first argument as index so index starts from 0 1 2 3 so I want the third item to change so I will write 3 and the rest of them are the same the icon name so for example this is the icon I want and the text on it so for example uh, new text okay and save your program and run it again and let's see what happens so it runs and you can see the third item 0 1 2 3 the text is changed right and for example you wanted to change the icon itself you can do it simply so you can just uh, change the icon here and run it and let's see what happens so now the icon is also changed right so in this way you can uh, use a combo box in Qt I hope you've enjoyed this video please rate comment subscribe and bye for now